What's up guys? Welcome back for another quad vlog. Ah! Dang bro. I hope all you guys had a great week. It is a beautiful fall day in South Dakota. It's like 65 degrees, the sun is shining. Pretty much the perfect weather to come out for a ride. So in today's video, ooh, got some cops out of Taco Bell, getting some tacos. Okay. So in today's quad vlog, what I'm going to be talking about is probably one of the most asked questions on my channel. And that is, what kind of street tires do I run on the Raptor 700? Or, what kind of street tires do I think are the best? That guy is just straight, okay, I hope he's okay. That guy was just straight up passed out on that bench. I want to try to get a wheelie in. And before I get too far into the video, the first thing I want to say about tires is that you honestly get what you pay for. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So the first thing I did before making this video is I went to Google, you know, and typed in ATV street tires. And I'll be honest, the first thing that popped up was something way cheaper than what I spent on my tires. The tires that I found were from a company called Sun F. I think they're on eBay, they're definitely on Amazon, that's where I found them. But less than 200 bucks, free shipping I even think. Um, and you get four tires. And I really don't want to talk about those tires anymore because like I said, you get what you pay for and I'm almost positive those tires are pretty crappy tires. So, on to the tires that I run on my Raptor 700. The tires I run on my Raptor 700 are called Duro Scorchers. And I've ran Duro Scorchers on this quad and I've ran them on my two previous Raptor 350s and I absolutely love the tires. I've had zero problems running Duro Scorchers on any of my quads. These tires are probably, uh, probably three or, these tires are probably three years old and uh, they still have at least 60% of the tread left on them. And I've, you know, I've put a good amount of hours and uh, miles on these tires. And if you guys want to know what specific size of the tires I run, I run 2011 nines in the back that's 20 inches tall 11 inches wide and with a nine inch rim for my rears and in the front i have 21 6 uh by 10 so that's a 10 inch rim 21 inches tall and uh six inches wide of course you guys can pick and choose the different sizes you want i think you can go with like an eight inch rim in the back um you know a, a shorter height tire but to be honest i think these are the tires that fit the raptor 700 the best and uh look the best you don't want to go too small obviously because then you're going to kind of look like a fool and if you go too big then it becomes a little bit uh you know then you kind of got to change your gearing so i think these are the best sizes of tires for the uh, raptor 700 in specific and i'm sure you guys are curious what i paid for them i paid pretty much 400 dollars for all four basically it comes down to a hundred dollars per tire but like i said in the beginning i think you get what you pay for i really i swear to god i haven't had a problem with these tires they hold up they go over rocks they're uh, like a softer tire but um at the same time you know they don't get torn up by rocks you know i've taken these tires out to the hills and it's super rocky out there and i've ridden the trails they don't really get beat up i've never tore one or anything like that and they stick they're, they're sticky enough to you know stick to uh the asphalt and stuff like that so i'm gonna get off real quick and show you guys what the tires look like um they look pretty cool they have like a kind of a, a neat pattern to them all right so here are the duro scorchers and i guess they're called the scorchers because they kind of have like this uh like flame pattern of tread i don't know it doesn't do anything but um here are the tires you guys can see i mean i probably have at least 50 percent tread left on these tires i mean there's 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 a good quarter inch of tread left on the rears and of course there's a good quarter inch left on um the front as well so you guys can kind of see the tread pattern of the duro scorcher um the, here's the rears and the fronts are pretty much the same pattern but you can kind of see that there's a lot of tire that's in contact with the pavement you know it's not a very aggressive style of tire which is a good thing because you don't really want to run knobbies on the street. These tires in particular will probably last you 
legitimately 10 times longer than if you're running a knobby tire on the street. Knobby tires just have such a small contact patch with the road that uh, they just wear down a lot faster than obviously a tire like this, especially in the rear, um, mainly because on sport quads they have a fixed rear axle. So when you're going around a turn, you know, on the road, making a corner, um, you know, one wheel has to spin faster than the other and because of the fixed axle, they can't. So obviously what happens is your rear tires get worn down quite a bit just from turning because of that fixed rear axle. All right, so those are the tires I run on the Raptor 700. Kind of a shorter video for you guys. I think this is where I'm gonna wrap it up. But of course, if you guys have any more questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I do want to cover one last thing about my tires, and that is what tire pressure I run. If uh, you guys don't know about ATV tire pressures, they're super low. I typically run between like 5 psi and like at the max 10 psi in all my tires. The front ones I have at like 8 psi right now, and the rears I have at like 6 or 7. Um, super low tire pressures and that's just because of the fact that they're so big and wide that you really don't need to obviously run a high tire pressure and of course I'll post a link in the description of this video to the Duro Scorchers if you guys want to check them out I'm not getting paid to say that by Duro or anything of course if you guys buy the tires from Amazon or whatever link I use I'll probably get like a 1% kickback or something but I'll post a link for you guys so you can check them out if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below, and I will see you guys next Saturday for another quad vlog.